Hi guys and welcome to the next episode of 100% Walkthrough Dark Souls 2 where hopefully we're getting every item and every secret in the game. So last episode we did the Earthen Peaks and we're going to end up in Iron's Keep. Um, basically this is going to be the final level of this path and we're going to kill an Archdemon in this episode. But before um, entering this level, I really recommend getting some a few items just to have some high fire defense if you're going to get all the items. If not, don't worry too much about it. But one of the main things is um, Flash Sweat. The Flame Quartz Ring plus one, which we got in episode four, I believe. Also, this an item called Small Orange Burr, or Burr, or whatever. And this is going to give us high fire defense. Um, as I poorly demonstrate here, because I have no clue. I, I was just figuring it out in this part. I had no um, clue how much um, Flash Sweat was going to give me. I really overestimated Flash Sweat for that bit. But there's a human effigy down there, even if you do die, don't worry about it too much, the bonfire's right there. <coughs> but anyway, I learned that flash sweat weren't sufficient, so anyway. Um, next, we're going to go straight across this bridge. Halfway through, we're going to look to the right and notice there's a few ledges down there with an item at the end. Uh, I also apologise if you sometimes notice um, I pick an item up and I'm not, I can't quite remember what it is. It's, it's for the pure reason that I... I'm commentating over the preview on Sony Vegas and the previous quite small screen and I can't see most of the items. I will obviously tell you which um tell you what, what some of the main ones are, what some of the important ones are which I clearly remember picking up, but I apologize if like some of these little items I can't remember what they are. I think that's a bonfire aesthetic, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, once we're finished with that, you can try and jump across back. I just used a homeward bone just to play it safe. Even though I didn't really have any souls anyway, but whatever. Um, straight across the bridge, it's going to be two of these. Um, I wouldn't call them ninjas, they're more like samurais or whatever. But anyway, kill them. They could drop you the black steel katana if you're lucky. But anyway, there's nothing else around this area, so we're just going to come straight through this, um, the middle main door. So in this next room, we're just going to have two more of the same type of enemy. Just take them out quite easily. Um, be below the fire at the end there. As you just see, this an item, so you could. I think you can get it if you don't care about suiciding without using any protection or fire or um, resistance ring or anything. But I I choose to use it as I nearly die without <laughs> without even trying. But anyway, so I'm going to use flash sweat, and I think that that should do for this item. Uh, it's, it's also recommend that you can use Esther's flash just before doing it. That way, it's like constantly recharging a bit of health for some time but make sure if you're going to go for the Estus Flask tactic use that the last thing because that's the thing that wears out quicker so anyway if we instead of carrying on we're going to come to the right here there's going to be a merchant here he'll say a few things but the main thing about this guy there's two things this guy will actually um, take your skeptic spice and simpleton spice to lower the intelligence and faith required to have some of the miracles and spells. Also, later on in the game we'll be able to join the Dragon's Guild thanks to this guy, but that's not until a bit later on. So we're going to cut these stairs instead of going back, we're going to get Faris Luckstone from just here looking down on the last room we was in. Um, before going down over here to the right of the stairs, there's going to be a hidden wall just here with a, a massive crossbow in it. And behind the crossbow is going to be an item which I can't quite remember what it was. But anyway, just go and pick that up. I think I can see it says fire seeds or something like that. But anyway, um, in front of the crossbow there's going to be another hidden door. We can also hop here onto the crossbow to kill the guy outside. Technically the room that we're going to end up on in just here with the three enemies in it is the next room after the bottom room which I'll be demonstrating in it. So here to the left is the room we was just in with the fire and and where we got the iron key from below those flames. But anyway for now we're just going to continue through here. This is probably going to be the main room of the level for now. There is one more main room. I mean to be honest this room, I'm um, sorry this level isn't actually that long it's just a bit um, complicated at the start. Even though it's not too complicated if you compare it to Earthen Peaks or maybe the Gull or something like that or the Lost Bastille. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is come all the way, um, sticking to the left path, straight forwards, jump down this ladder, there's going to be item at the back here. So we go and pick that up. So now we're just going to come back to the ladder and climb all the way back up the ladder to the top. We've not been here yet, so we're going to um, open this chest just here. Get that. 
I think it's a life ring plus one in there. Uh, from here, we're going to jump down. Don't bother going back down the ladder or jumping down because you're not going to make. You can't really make it back. Um, down here, there's going to be a guy hidden under here. If you're going to pull this lever like I did without killing the crossbow guy at the at the far end, just be careful and time it right after you fast the arrow. But anyway, what this is actually going to do is it's going to um, lower the drawbridge here at least half of it so we can access it from this side. Be careful the enemy on it. Try not to advance too much to get hit by the um, that yeah that <laughs> so. Um, try not to do that and I really recommend taking that guy out miles before I do anyway with a um, with a bow or something um, this guy over here you should probably kill him if you're gonna be getting all the items now um, there's a fog gate there that's where the optional boss is but we're gonna be doing that in a second first we're gonna get all the items from this area so straight ahead over here is gonna be a chest in it and in it is going to be the switch handle which is the strength um, build sword uh, I think you should all know what it is from Dark Souls 1. Um, so before heading back we are going to try and pull this jump off to get down to that ledge there. That's where the dull ember is going to be. That's the ember that we can give to the blacksmith in the Lost Bastille. And upgrade our weapons and give it an element. So make sure you take that back to the Lost Bastille when you can. So up here is going to be this stupid archer that's been pissing us off all this time. And we're going to just kill him or knock him off. There's a Pharisee's Lockstone Contraption, we're actually going to activate it if you want to get all the items. So what this is actually going to do is, if you roll in it, or just stand in it, it's going to give you a big fire defense boost for a while. So we're going to want to do that in a bit. But anyway, first we're going to head back to the fog gate. Let's jump on this little ledge here and pick up these items. Uh, then we're going to carry on down. If on the lower ledge there's going to be a switch, this switch is um, going to lower the drawbridge completely flat so we can access it from both sides um, down here on these stairs to the left there's going to be a chest on this far thing but we're going to be doing that in a second with the water but I'm just going to finish off the rest of the items in this map so this door's got a handle uh, wheel on it we're going to spin this and it's going to turn all the fire off in the furnace so we can actually enter it from both sides uh, where we press the last lever the other side there's a door there to access it you'll see as soon as we get in it's a tiny little room that's the other door to the other side but before heading up this ladder there's going to be an item here in the corner um, now we're going to head up the ladder this technically you can get to the um, the main boss this way if you wanted to skip these optional boss there's the way you want to go but we're going to be skipping a bonfire this way so we're not going to do it this way through the door straight ahead of us where the level is going to continue to the right is going to be a bonfire but we obviously can't access it from this side and there's going to be an enemy over here but anyway um, we're going to go back to the lock, um, the fastest lockstone contraption of the water like I mentioned before where the archer was so we're going to roll around on that for a bit we're going to jump across here and we're going to keep dropping down to try and get that item down there as you can see I died once trying to do this this is actually quite dangerous so I, I also recommend um, taking a small orange burr, also flash sweat, um, the, the flame quartz ring plus one and a estus flask before doing this and as you can see I just about survived. Obviously with people with a lot more um, HP than me it's going to be a lot easier so it, for people with a lot more HP maybe you can save an estus flask or two and I don't really recommend um, risking it. But that's all the items in this area, so now we're going to go and um, try and kill the boss. There's an optional boss, like I said, just to get to the the optional bonfire. But anyway, we're going to kill him. It's not really a hard boss, just wait until he attacks, spin around, sorry, dodge him, and get a few hits on him. Um, later on in the battle, he'll get his um, sword on flame, so if you want to um, use flash sweat to take less damage when he does that, you can, even though it's not exactly necessary. But anyway, after killing him, we're going to come up the, the stairs the other side of the room and open this chest. Uh, I can't really see what that is. But anyway, um, through this door is going to be the bonfire, and that door just there is going to take us to outside where I mentioned before the other side of the door. There is one more thing I'd like to mention. If we sit at the bonfire or the, any other bonfire and went back to the, the boss we just felt, so down here uh, right the pursuer will actually spawn again just to let you guys know so if you kill the pursuer this time he'll give you the ring of blades plus one which is quite good if you're using the first one 
But anyway, now we're going to continue through the level through here. It's going to be two turtle guys. Um, not nothing too hard. We're actually going to go through this door before doing anything in that room. That's the other main room of the level, the last main room. But we're going to ignore that for now and go through this door. Activate this fastest lock stone and knock down the right wall. <laughs> And come up this ladder here. So this is going to be a optional level. Um, I take you guys remember Belfry Luna from the Lost Bastille. Well, there's going to be Belfry Soul. There's going to be the other place where we can access the Bell Covenant. So anyway, we want to pick that chest chest up there. And there's also a bonfire here. Obviously, once you drop down to this bonfire, there's no going back unless you teleport to the other bonfire. So technically, if you miss the optional bonfire. And you drop down here, there's, a, there's going to be a long way back here. You're going to have to teleport back to the other bonfire. Or you could technically go through the optional level. It will take you back to that um, big room I was just in. But anyway, as you see, there was a there was the Covenant guy just there. So this level is really quite short. We're going to come in here. After we've killed all the enemies, we're going to come over to these two towers here. This tower, um, this lever here is going to ring the bell. And the other tower is going to be to proceed through the level. <clears throat> so we're just going to do that. Climb up the ladder. It's, there's only really a few items in this um, level. And that will just take us back to the other one. The other um, big room we were just in. In Iron's Keep. So anyway, watch out for this first guy. This guy's going to do a world um, burst fire crossbows. And he is really quite dangerous. He like, really does have some... Um, agility and he tries to dodge all your spells and stuff but anyway um, before hopping off the roof we're going to come to the right here and pick up this skeptic spice or simpleton spice I think it is I'm not sure which one is but anyway down to the other side is where we're going to continue so take out all these enemies down here I believe it's free um, watch out for the crossbows but anyway once we've done that take out this guy and we're going to come down here take out the last guy and uh, before f heading through this door, there's going to be an item to the right here. So I'll pick that up. I think it's the opposite of what we had just there. Skeptical Spice or the Simpleton Spice. But anyway, now we're going to head through the Fog Gate. Before heading down, there's going to be a chest just here. Um, I believe that's a Pyromancy. <laughs> and down the stairs, there's going to be another item just below it. So turn around, don't try, try not to miss that. So now we're going to be heading back through this tunnel, which is going to take us back to Iron's Keep. So we're going to be at the top of this, the big room we were in before. Um, there's going to be a hidden door just here to the right before hopping down. I believe one of the items in here is the the Black Knight Ultra Great Sword, or the just the Ultra. I'm um, sorry, just the Black Knight Great Sword. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, but anyway, if we jump down, as you can see, we're right near the bonfire we just lit before heading up to Belfry. So. And just down here is going to be the bonfire. I'm um, sorry, the entrance to this room. Uh, so I just messed them out. So to the right is where we came into this place from across the bridge with the two turtle guys. Just there, as you can see, we're behind them. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do in this um, room is try and take out this great bow um, guy up here to our right. Uh, I really recommend taking him out with brain so you don't have to walk all the way around just to kill him. And there's also going to be a total guy up to our right, which we could, we could also kill from here, but I don't really recommend that at the moment, there's no point. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is pull this lever just here. This is actually going to swap the middle platform for a different shaped one, and it's going to help us get to a ladder to get some of the secret items. I really enjoy how these guys just don't give a fuck and just go down there and die. But anyway, for the, before going to the left down the bottom, we're going to take out the other great bow guy will stand over here because this guy will get really annoying if not there's also a uh, item on this ledge just here be careful if you knock this ledge about too much I think I believe it's the chains the chains just there they it will actually flip the the whole platform over when you die obviously so be careful that but anyway come down here to the left there's going to be a crystal lizard um, another item here and a, another great bow guy just at the end so down these stairs there's to the left the chest contains Chaos Firestorm, I believe, Pyromancy. But there's no way my character's good. I've got enough HP to go for that. So I'm just going to go sacrifice myself and pick up this item. I think it's a Fire Seed. But for everybody with a lot of HP, you should probably try and get that, especially if you're interested in the Pyromancy. But I'm just going to not get that on this. No, and at least not yet, because my character really don't have enough HP. 
But anyway, now heading back up to the centre, we're going to come round the, the fire-breathing horses, I believe they are, or statues, uh, and come up this ladder. This ladder you won't be able to get to if you didn't swap the platform in the middle to this shaped one. Um, be careful with this chest. Although it's iron, it's a, a mimic, so be careful. This guy is actually really dangerous. But anyway, after taking him out, we're going to continue up the stairs. I think he actually gives you a weapon, something to do with lightning, I can see on the screen there. <laughs> I apologize for that once again. The preview is really small on Sony Vegas. I'm not quite sure if you can make it. I know you can make it full screen, but I'm not sure if you can make it for really good quality. I can clearly see what's going on, but it's just the item seen a bit fady. But anyway, after coming up the ladder, we are going to find another Faris' Lockstone contraption. It's basically going to do what the last one did with water, so I'm pretty sure that you can come from here and have a bit of extra help from it to get that um, Chaos Firestorm Pyromancy what I was mentioned I did, wasn't even going to bother going for. I'm pretty sure that's useful for that. But anyway, continuing up here, there's going to be three Great Bow guys again, so take those out quickly. Uh, there's an item in the corner, and there's also going to be a chest over here in the opposite corner. So, we're just going to go and get that. Any time now, mate. There you go. <laughs> so, anyway, the next thing we're going to do is turn around and fall down this hole. Watch out, make sure you don't miss a ledge. If not, it, you will take a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure you can survive if you miss one. Um, also, there's an item on this one just here, so make sure you don't miss this ledge. And a bit further down, there's going to be a ring, which I think is the gold serpent ring, which is going to be on this thing. So technically, if you fall into this fire, you're going insta to instantly die. So make sure you've got a land on the side. Don't matter how much fire protection you've got, you're going to instantly die anyway. So anyway, from here, technically, we're the other side of the door. Um, which I mentioned at the start, there's going to be, right, how do I explain this? When we went into the first big, the second big room with the lever I pulled to change the platform, to the right I mentioned there was a, a turtle guy to the right, so we're technically the other side of that door we've seen over there. I do believe in the video I actually miss an item, there was actually a item behind the turtle guy, so quickly go through the door to what we just seen to my right, and pick up the item. I'm not sure. I don't think it's anything too useful, but I apologize for missing that on the video. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure there was an item there. As I realized after recording. But anyway, through here, there's going to be another two turtle guys. Um, open that um, guillotine kind of thing with that lever. Here, if you want, you just do not risk it. You should probably use flash sweat so you don't burn with these guys to get this item. But anyway, we're going to get that. So now we're going to head up this semi-hidden ladder, you can't really tell it's, on, um, tell it's there. But anyway, we're going to head up here, head up both of them, there's going to be another bonfire, there's going to be the last bonfire of the level, we're pretty much nearly completed the level. There is one more thing we want to do, which is come up these stairs just here right beside the bonfire and press this lever. Um, which will turn off all the fire breathing statues down the stairs just here. Uh, if you want to do that, it's not really that useful since it's the end of the level anyway, but whatever. So there's one more enemy just here to our left, another turtle knight. We're just going to kill him quickly. Um, and that's pretty much it. The, the last um, enemy is going to be the boss fight, which shouldn't be too hard. And there's going to be our second um, archdemon, so there's going to be an end of another path. So I'm not really sure which path to do next. It's either the gutter and the black gooch, or um, Faris's, oh, what's it? Faris's door and... Blightstone, I think, or Brightstone, or whatever it's called. Um, if if any of you guys prefer any of those paths before I upload, because on weekends I don't upload, so you've got a weekend to do that. I should be uploading, I think, Sunday or Monday. So leave that in the comments which path you prefer for me to take, and I'll go on that path. But anyway, this boss is really easy. Um, with or without spells, you just got to hide behind the building if he looks like he's going to do any weird attacks. Um, get beside him, dodge one of his physical attacks, and then just hit him in the arm or whatever. It's not too hard at all. But anyway, coming coming in this building after the boss battle, there's going to be a a chest here. I'm not sure, quite sure what's going on, sorry. But after this, this is pretty much the end of the level. Go down here like the primal bonfire, and we'll be back in Magula. So anyway, if you guys found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.